Happy New Year! 新年快乐 Chinese New Year is coming. Chinese New Year is also called Spring Festival, 春节 The whole festival usually lasts about fifteen days. During these fifteen days, Chinese people follow many traditions, celebrating with their families and giving offers to their gods. We're going to release videos covering various topics relating to Spring Festival history, food. Traditions and more. So subscribe to our channel now and stay tuned. Chinese New Year is the biggest celebration in China. Depending on the Chinese lunar calendar, Chinese New Year usually lies between late January and early February. Why there's no specific day for Chinese New Year? It is because the Chinese lunar calendar is based on the combination of lunar and solar movements. And therefore, the date of Chinese New Year is adjusted every year. The day before Chinese New Year is New Year's Eve. Most Chinese people are already on their way home from the cities. Traveling a long distance can be stressful. Chinese people have to plan ahead, buying train or bus tickets to go home for a family reunion. While children are rushing to go home. Parents are very busy getting their houses clean. We call it spring cleaning, 大扫除 dusting, sweeping the floor, and cleaning the furniture. Chinese people believe that in order to receive the new luck, 新的 you have to sweep the bad luck, 旧的 All the cleaning has to be done before the end of New Year's Eve. So let's learn a phrase to capture this meaning. 除旧迎新除旧迎新 Besides cleaning, parents will also do lots of shopping for Chinese New Year celebration. In Chinese, we call it 半年货半年货 Here, 半 means making a big purchase. 年 is year, and 货 is goods. Traditionally, 半年货 means to make a big purchase of goods. That the family has been wanting since the beginning of the year. So, in the old times, 年货 was a long list, and that includes fresh ingredients for cooking, new clothing, and even New Year snacks for visitors. Can you imagine saving up for a whole year to buy what you want for the New Year? For some families, they had to save up for a whole year to buy a whole chicken for Chinese New Year. Today, the long list doesn't seem exist anymore, since many Chinese people are wealthier than ever. They are no longer have to wait until the New Year to buy what they want. While their shopping habits may have changed, they never changed the tradition of pasting New Year's banners, or in Chinese we call them 春联 spring couplets. A spring couplet is a pair of connected lucky phrases written on red paper. Above the door is a short lucky phrase. Then, on both sides of the door, there's a pair of spring couplets. In the old times, Chinese people read from right to left, up to down. Today, it is still true when you read Chinese poems or literature. But the Chinese language is flexible. And in modern Chinese, we read from left to right. For this reason, you may find people pasting spring couplets from left to right. The lines rhyme because they're from old literature. For the younger generations, they might go by print spring couplets. But for the older generations, like my grandfather, they like to write their own spring couplets with a brush and then. Paste them on the door to express the good wishes for their family members. Before we say goodbye, let's learn a sentence. Pasting spring couplets is a tradition custom in China. 贴春联是中国的传统习俗 Thanks for watching. To learn how the Chinese team wishes all of you Happy New Year, 新年快乐 Bye.